Hello, Painting with a Purpose friends. Um, we are going to do, we've had a lot of people ask for like a movie room type themed painting. So we're gonna do one of those. You can do this painting several different ways. You can use one canvas, which is what I'm gonna do, and put everything on one canvas. Or you can use three separate canvases and put each item on its own canvas and just do the same type of background that we're gonna do for this one. So you have several different options. To get started, the colors you're gonna need are, um, I've got this tan mixed with white because we want a really, really light tan. White, red, yellow, and black. You are going to need your two inch flat brush, your small flat brush, and your small and medium round. I'm not sure if we're gonna use the small round, but it's good to have it handy. And you're gonna need an old piece of t-shirt that we're gonna get wet and wring it out. We don't want it dripping, but we do want it wet. All right, let's get started. We're gonna mix up this tan and white together because we just want it really, really light. And we're gonna paint the whole canvas. Well, that didn't work, this color. probably can't even tell it kind of looks white but it is a really really light tan go ahead and get your t-shirt wet make sure it's just damp it's not uh, we don't want it wringing wet dripping and we're gonna dip it in the whites and you want to kind of so this is my t-shirt you want to kind of crumple it up to where it has this little texture middle thing and you're just gonna hold it like this in your in your hand. And we're just gonna dip it in the white. You don't need a lot. And you're just gonna take it and twist it. adding some texture all right now that we have that we are going to let our background dry okay now that our background is dry with your small flat brush that's kind of wild here I think I'm gonna get a new one Let's see. okay this one's much better and your red paint, we're just gonna do a red outline around this canvas and it's basically gonna be the width of this brush. So you're rinsing this brush and we're gonna use the same brush again. So make sure you get all the red off because we're gonna use it with white. And we're gonna start with our popcorn container. We're gonna do everything in white first, um, just because it's easier to cover up if we mess up. And our popcorn container is going to kind of sit right here at an angle. Now in the beginning I said you could do three separate 
paintings. So if you were to do three separate paintings, you would center your popcorn container in this, in the center of this, and you could still do it at an angle. You could do it straight up and down. It would be completely up to you. But if you're gonna do three separate paintings, you're gonna wanna do this popcorn container bigger and in the center. one we are going to do our film clipboard and it's gonna set down here and it's gonna be at an angle the opposite angle and it's gonna set overlapping this popcorn and it's just a it's just a rectangle And then you've got the little handle thing that comes up this way. And then just fill that in and this would be your second canvas. Element that we're gonna be adding the movie camera and the film rolls on top so it's kind of tricky this movie camera is gonna set back here and it is just a rectangle as well and it's gonna be more squared actually gonna have it go all the way to the red All right, we're gonna add our red to our popcorn bucket. And we're also gonna add our popcorn before we do anything else to the movie camera. So I need to make sure that all of my white paint is good and dry. All right, with your medium round brush and your red paint, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna add stripes to our popcorn bucket. So the first stripe is gonna kinda be right down the center, right here.
rinse this, get all that red off. We're gonna, we'll go back and fill in these white spaces later, but right now we're gonna go to our yellow and our popcorn. So we're just gonna fill these in and to do popcorn, you're just gonna kinda roll and roll and roll. So it's gonna have like three, so there's one, two, three. One, two, do some defining once it dries. Rinse that yellow off and we're gonna come down here and we're with our black we're gonna fill in our Now that our film thing is dry and I think our popcorn's good enough, with your small round brush and white paint, we're just gonna kinda outline some of these
So again, if you want to do three separate paintings, do your clipboard, your popcorn, and then the camera all separate. All right, while our um, clipboard is drying, I'm gonna come back in here very carefully and do another layer of white. All right, let's go ahead and start on our camera. With your flat brush, your small flat brush, and your black paint, go ahead and just fill in your white rectangle with black. The top of the camera is going to be two reels and we're going to start small so this is where those circles come in you keep that inside edge stationary and you spin the outside edge and then you half on half off and go around again that one was a little crazy so half on, half off, follow that edge. And we want it to just touch the top of the cameras. Just setting right on top and it's gonna run right off your canvas. So there's one. So same thing. Center edge stays stationary, spin, half on, half off. This one's a little bit bigger, so we're gonna go back to this one. Just barely touch. There we go. All right, so there's the film rolls on the movie camera. Now that front triangle part, 
We really need to wait until our popcorn is completely dry to do that. So we'll go down here and we'll do the stand. So the stand is just kind of like a little triangle. I'm gonna fill that in. And then the legs come off of this and it's in the background. So you're not gonna see all of the legs. And then the second leg is coming kind of down behind there. All right, let's let our popcorn dry and our movie clipboard dry really good before we add our finishing touches. Okay, now that everything's good and dry, let's add our the front of our movie camera. And it's just like a cone type shape. And it's going to cut in front of our popcorn. Let's go back down here to our clipboard and finish him up. So with your flat brush, your small flat brush, your medium flat brush, and your white paint, we're gonna add some details. So the first detail is gonna be a line straight across like that. We're gonna do another line just below that. And I'm just making sure that my paintbrush has a really nice edge on it and drawing my lines. Then up here, the lines are gonna go diagonal and they're gonna be the width of the red paintbrush. Add one more line down here. Just like so. Alright, so there's our little clipboard. Now, up here at the top on our film, we have to add to where it looks like these are film film reels. So what you're gonna do with your really small round brush is you're gonna come in here and it should be nice and dry. And you're just gonna kind of along the circle, you're gonna add white film windows.
and you're gonna fill those in. Then you're gonna do the same thing to the other one. my thin round brush and white paint and right here I am going to write is kind of crazy. There you go. There is your movie room painting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, you can make three different paintings out of this or you can just do one. Have fun. I cannot wait to see what you guys create.